Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am sorry I didn't upload last week. I just I tried a bunch of ideas and things happened and it kind of stopped working. So you know that's great. Um, today we're looking at a really awesome website called TotallyGeometry.com. Um, it's cool because it's meant to be used when you're in school. Okay, it's meant to be used. When instead of playing cool math games, this is what you go and do. So, when you open up the page, it looks like this. And you have to search for community support apps games. Now, apps and games are the ones we're going to focus on. So, I'll start with apps. When clicking on the apps link, you just get a bunch of apps that you can open up. So, Google, YouTube, Spotify, Twitter, Reddit. Twitch, Discord, TikTok, some sort of gaming thing, cool math games, NVIDIA GeForce Now, it actually works, and Y8. Now, if I want to open TikTok, for example, it just logs onto the server, and I have TikTok on. Uh... Um, so now I have to go back to the website, because it takes forever to, um, yeah. I, I, I really don't care about drag run jewels, okay? Okay, um, so it has apps. Now, game, this is where things get cool. There's Crunker.io. I think that's how you spell it. Yeah, I'm say it. Among Us. 1v1 LOL. I think it is. Minecraft. Run 3. Slope. And just to show you, these games do work. They work perfectly fine. Just boot up. You can go in full screen when you have a game open. And you can just go back to the, to the library of games by clicking here. I clicked too many times. Now scrolling down you have some random multiplayer games nobody cares about really. Um, here we have some mobile web games. Uh, FNF doesn't work right now. It just gives you a 404. Cookie Clicker, Dinosaur Game, Flappy Bird, there's a lot of things people know that are always blocked on school computers that you can do on here. Um, as of indie titles, there's a few things. There's Geometry Dash, Minecraft, Minecraft Classic, Pac-Man, a lot of things. Now, this is where things get kind of crazy. Nintendo. We know them. We love them. Let, let's, let's look at this. Earthbound. Pokemon Emerald. Pokemon Fire Red. Pokemon... Leaf Green, Pokemon Ruby, Pokemon Sapphire, Super Mario 3, Zelda stuff, Mario stuff, and even... It's me, Mario! Wow! Hey, this is like fully functional, okay, by the way, so... And now I'm just starting a let's play of Super Mario. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I agree to keep you. No one Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. And and you'll see once I get into the actual game part. Oh, I mean, even the regular. good now below your nintendo titles which 
is probably the big one over here. You can play like literal Pokemon four on the left, please. Um, we have the Sega Genesis. Now, currently, all there is is Sonic two, Sonic one, Sonic two, and Sonic three. They all work. And all the 2D games, you have this menu where you can tell you have like things you can do. It tells you. As you can see, I'm bad at Sonic, so we're going to stop playing that. And then down here, we have some direct connection to GeForce Now stuff. I don't have GeForce Now, so I'm not going to attempt to play any of these games. But, this is pretty cool. Like, um, I think I should just play one game for everything. Um, Among Us, you do have to, like, sock. You can play. It's just a little sad. Um, Run 3. You have to. You have to like. It tells you this, you can't do with an with an ad blocker on. So just stay, disable your ad blocker if you want to play that. Um, multiplayer. There's Taper.io, which I'm going to play for you. Works perfectly fine. You can type your name. Go on and play some paper.io. It is very unplayable. But there is people once you get into it, you're playing it, you're you're good, you're it's it's nice. Okay. Um apparently I just got first place, which is interesting enough. KO'd him, he just KO'd me. Um, we have these games that I don't know what they are supposed to be. Um, dinosaur game, FNF doesn't work. Minecraft, that's a cool one. Geometry Dash is not the dash you think it is it is the scratch fort which I have played on my channel before as you can see and all the scratch features do work so in the future if you port more scratch features, it will work fine because he has the he has like the like and I love this transparent like look to it. It's really nice. Going myself when well, I'm trying to show you stuff that doesn't work well. Okay. Um. There, some of these indie games aren't exactly uh high quality, like this. But it's it's still a little thing. Hey, it's better than no nothing when you're on a school computer. Like, I'm not pressing down. Spacebar, it just shoots for you. You just have to, just have to aim and stuff. This looks like it was made with a, for like a school project. I swear, this guy actually. The, and I know the person who made this like as a friend of friend kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, as of these. Ports of things. I'm just gonna put, boot up like Fire Red for a second. It's a full on emulator. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm gonna get copyright claimed. I'm gonna get off of this before I do. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, I am terry terrified of copyright claims. Oh, I wanna play Zelda, but I don't wanna get. Copyrighted. Sorry.
So in the future, if you if you see me playing like a retro game, because I might have individually play some of these games on my channel in the future, uh, you know that I'm probably using this website, and so can you. And I am not responsible if your teacher uses Go Guardian and finds out you're using it. Okay, I'm just showing this off because it's not blocked on Go Guardian. So, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, like and subscribe if you want to. I don't, I'm sure, just thanks for watching. You're not a lot of people watch until the end, so thanks. I mean, spanks. No, I didn't say that. In the reverse. Um, bye.